sponsored by B Barn Nigeria. So hi, Mekam. It's good to have you on this episode of Off the Pitch. Thanks for joining us here today. Hi, Brenda. It's good to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here with you here today in your show. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> So okay, so let's get right into business. Um, I know it's off the pitch, but again, we want to know who Mekam is, what mm-hmm. you all about, where you're from, what you do for a living, and basically, what has you been all about up until this point when it comes to your career? Okay, uh, so um, I'm Mekam, woman is working for, and um, I'm an Nigerian professional football player, you know, and um, I'm based in Sweden, and um, yeah. Football has always been a thing, you know, in, in me, you know, like in the family and everything. And yeah, I grew up playing football on the streets, you know, in Nigeria and with my friends, you know, in school and everything. So, yeah. And um, I, I, I've played for Hammarby Football Club here in Sweden, here, and also FC in Shopping City. Uh, to this point, you know, the season was over. And, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to pronounce your name, it's a whole school to pronounce your name. <laughs> but again, let's know uh, what part of Nigeria are you from? And um, a little bit about your family background, you know, like basically, I mean, I mean, I know you're based in Sweden right now, but just let us know in, let us in on all of that personally. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um. So I'm from the southern part of Nigeria, Bayelsa State to be precise, you know, and um, um, I'm from a, a polygamous mm-hmm. family, like, you know, and I'm the last child of my mom. And I was born on the 22nd of August, 2002, 19 years old. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a good journey. It's it's been a, a, a journey worth um, learning from. You know, like it's it's been a whole learning curve. You know, up to this point, you understand, like you know what it means. You know, growing up in Nigeria, you fight for everything you. And in the south, south. Yeah. Yeah, south, south for that matter. You understand. So you know, I actually I actually moved to Lagos. You know, because I always had a dream of, you know, playing football and, you know, I knew that, okay, yeah, in the South, you know, there's limited opportunities, so I knew that, okay, yeah, if I'm in Lagos, it would be easier for my dreams to be actualized, but, yeah, I went to Lagos and, you know, played a lot, I basically did a lot in the, in the, in the, in the West, you know, then I went to Ibadan, yeah, I also played there in Ibadan, then it was from Ibadan that, you know, I would later come back to Lagos and then I will move to Sweden, yeah, so it was like that. Okay. Okay, so um, you just gave us a brief about your career, but I was going to go a little bit deeper into that, just to mm. know specifically because looking at um your professional football career, I didn't, I, I've not seen so much of you in the NPFL. I mean, mm. like I've so much of you in the NPFL. That's the Nigerian Professional Football League, <laughs> and then you just rightly explained why that is. But again, looking at um, the Super Eagles, it is the dream of every Nigerian player to play in the Super Eagles, and for you, you've not had an appearance. You know, in the Super Eagles. So basically, what do you think it's missing? What do you think, you know, doing right? You think your current um, play in the Swedish um, league will get you a call up? If not, what are your plans, basically? Of course, of course. You know, it's the dream of every young player. You know, to to represent their national teams, especially you know, as a Nigerian, it's my dream. You know, to that's always been my dream. You know, to to be called up to Super Eagles someday. You know, in my life. You know, but at this point, you know, I'm still a young player and I'm still like focused on my development. You know, and there I would like a situation whereby you know I would end the call up. You know, like you know, and when I'm when I go there, I'll be able to give hundred percent. You understand? So for now. I think you know the Super Eagles. There, there are a lot of fantastic players in the squad right now. You know, we have a very healthy squad that can win everybody. You know, if uh, with the right, you know, you know, discipline and you know, you know, team play and everything. So yeah, for now, I, I look up to a lot of people in the squad in the Super Eagles. You know, and and um, I'm just focused on my development now. So at the right time, I'll be able to give my hundred percent to when my time comes. You know, and when I get called up in the future. So I'm um, looking at your age. I needed to ask you this earlier. Looking at your age, um, do you think you want to go back to school? What is your education background like? I mean, I know it's it's a common thing for most players to you know leave school and focus on your career. But for you, what is it for you? Are you actually focused on your career, or you're juggling the both of them? And if you are, how are you managing to cope with all of that? Yeah, um, for me right now, my focus is on my on my career, on my career path. You know, like but. I believe education is important, you know, education is key, you know, to every child, you know, and um, to me, I feel like 
right now to 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 follow my path like to follow my career path you know i feel i'm educated to a certain level whereby i can handle the boss but definitely i'm a very practical person you know and uh and after what after football you know after playing football i would love to you know do a lot of things you know so like, i would love to be you know into the entrepreneurship of the world you know and yeah i think you know i would love to study about that precisely you know yeah. one time now i'm just focused on my um development you know and um, achieving my goals and my dreams as a professional footballer then yeah definitely i'll go back you know and study for the future away from your career to do the reason why we're having this conversation which is masters of the pitch okay so um may come may come i would like to pronounce your name the way i want to pronounce it because like i told it's not that easy you know yeah, um, I know. You. Okay. <laughs> all right so may come um what is your routine like off the pitch when you're not playing football you're a very young person i know there are a whole lot of distractions here and there but let's get to know what do you do for fun outside okay. football Firstly, I'm I'm a very I'm a very like indoor kind of person, you know. I I, I love me my okay. yeah yeah I love, I love me my me time because you know those those times you know I use it to meditate you know and I and I'm a big dreamer you understand so I, I picture myself in a lot of ways you know that keeps me positive and happy and gives me the drive to go forward. So yeah, when I'm not on the pitch, you know, when I'm off the pitch, you know, I go home, you know, I try to get as much as uh, as much rest I can get as possible, you know, and um, I, I, I'm on my phone, you know, talking with my family or my friends, you know, chatting, like surfing the internet, you know, and gaining knowledge also, you know, and also, yeah, sometimes, you know, I, I'm, I'm playing FIFA with my friends, you know, like we're chilling, you know, and yeah, we're learning some new tricks, you know, playing FIFA. And um, also, I love, I'm a musical person, you understand, like. Oh, that, uh, that's, that's good, that's good, yeah. because you're going to sing me a song for the show, right? So, rap song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, may come your age is just 19 but according to the law in nigeria where i'm from and i think it's common in all over the world right now it's not an excuse that you should be single by that <laughs> age so let's get to know your up let's get to know your personal life up front i mean are you are you married i i hope not because yeah. i guess not. but if yeah you you're married um uh, what is your personal life like? What is your love life like? And if you're not, it may come available for DMs, for CVs, for resumes, or should you just keep that somewhere at the back of the net? The thing is this, Miyakam is not my, Miyakam is not available. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so straight. Um, mm-hmm. I know you've missed a lot of things in Nigeria. So what exactly, what is that one thing aside from family, which I know is the first thing you say that you missed a lot from in Nigeria, but aside from mm. family, I'm talking about the food, the weather, the life, you know, mm. the Owambe. Or what exactly do you miss about Nigeria? And mm. if it's the food, which food would you want us to, you know, teleport and come and give to you ah. right there? Um, uh, I miss, first of all, I'll say, I miss the sunlight. Presently, I miss that sunlight, you understand? I miss, I miss the, the weather, you know, okay. like it's really yeah. cold. So, um, and, um, I miss the food, yeah. I miss I if if there's a way I can get some good meat pepper soup, man, I'll be happy like I'll see you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah, good that's... meat pepper soup will come in right away from Nigeria. Yeah, that's good. Good meat pepper soup. <laughs> Very good. Anybody that likes me. <laughs> As if we can, when we can, we we'll send you some good meat pepper soup and maybe some sunlight to help you keep warm and you know. <laughs> I'm just joking. So I mean Mekama, you said you rightly said you have um, a lot of people you look up to when it comes to your career you mentioned something you said something like that when you're talking about super egos and i'd like to know as a young person who exactly do you aspire to be in the field yeah. of football yeah you know in the in the field of football you know i i have you know people that affect my life positively that you know i'm really grateful to their career success you know, and the progress you know and yeah, yeah there's zlatan ibrahimovic there's um mm-hmm. christian Aldo, and there's lewandowski mm. I've been uh, lucky enough to meet with Slatan Ibrahimovic and um, yeah, he encouraged me and told me that, yeah, told me a couple of things, you know, that yeah could help me go forward in my career, you know, and I really, I, I am grateful for that opportunity of to meet someone as great as he is, you know, like I believe every young player look up to Slatan Ibrahimovic and be like, yeah, I want to be as good as this guy someday. So, and um, also like in the Super Eagles, you know, growing up, growing up, like growing up, I always, 
I always, I always loved, you know, JJ Okocha, you know, and Kanoa. But in the current Spygo squad, like, you know, Odion Igalo has been a, a, a great inspiration, like a, a mentor. Yeah. He's someone, even off the pitch, you know, his life off yeah. the pitch. Yes, Hello. yes, very disciplined. Yeah, he's a disciplined man and he's like a family man, you know, he's a family man. So, you know, I love I love how, how he lives his life off the pitch, you know, and yeah. Yeah, you know, I I'm I these people and you know, I look up to them a lot. Oh, that's a good choice. That's a good combination of Gianni Gallo in Nigeria, Ibrahim Mogovic, and um Cristiano Ronaldo and Lewandowski. Uh, uh, that's that's powerful. Imagine you having the three skills of all these players mm -hmm. in you. I mean, you're explosive, right? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's um, basically about it for your personal life. And then we're moving to the final segment of the show, which mm -hmm. is, you know, I like to call the quiz segment. Here, I'll get to test your knowledge of the Super Eagles. I know you're so young, but again, for a team that you've aspired or you're looking forward to playing in, I personally feel that you should have a lot of information about the team. So I'm not going to excuse you from asking you any question. I'm going to ask you any question at all. I feel like asking you because I assume you should know a lot about the Super Eagles. This is your national team. All right. So, um, <laughs> question one. Are we good to go? And then if you fail to answer all three of my questions, you're going to do a penalty. You're going okay. to do me a song. Uh -huh. so I, I heard earlier that you like to sing or you know how to sing. So I'm looking forward to get, um, you know, to get those bombs to, to, you know, I'm looking forward to blushing from your voice. So you have to do me a song and you have to make me blush. Are you ready? <laughs> so if you're willing to do the song, start getting ready. Make sure you answer all three of my questions. Is that okay? I'll try, I'll try. But you know, you're going to give me options, yeah? <laughs> I'll try to give you options, but I mean, it's a straightforward question. All yeah. right, so question one goes. This is, um, this is actually a very simple question. You should know this one. Who is Nigeria's all-time AFCON highest goal scorer? Bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, let me try to give you an option. Um, Obafemi Martins. Um, mm -hmm. Kanuan Ko mm -hmm. and um, Rashidi Yekini. Rashidi Yekini. Uh, see the way you're saying Rashidi Yekini. Okay, the next is the next question. Which Nigerian player is the most capped in the Super Eagle squad? Like, which of them have the most appearance in the Super Eagle squad? The governor. What? The governor. What? The governor. Who's the governor? Who is the governor? The governor. <laughs> Who is I'm the governor? All right, Ahmed Musa, Ahmed Musa, it is. So, like, this is the final one. I know you're going to get this one, but this is a little bit of um, because Afcon is currently on. I would just like mm. to get your, um, you know, test your knowledge on this one. Right. Okay. Which country is currently the defending champion of the Afcon? Algeria. <laughs> For the first time someone got the three questions correctly i give it up for you you're really oh, you're really you're really oh, you're really <laughs> so, well, give it up for me i gave you options imagine i didn't give you options for the first one you'd have goofed at it you'd have goofed at it <laughs> 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 but for the fun of the show, I mean, I just like to hear. You said aside aside football, you okay? Let me ask you. Aside football, what do you exactly? What would you want to go into aside playing football? What if you don't get to play football or something? What exactly would you do? Honestly, maybe I'd have, maybe I'd have done I would have done music. Well, I'm telling you the truth. I would have done no. music. <laughs> yeah. All right. So please now drop us a line. <laughs> drop us a musical line from any artist of your choice, just for the fun of the show. Mm, Let's know mm. that you have this talent. Let's know you have it and you are going to mm. see you see you one day we can buy your CD. So let's know. <laughs> <laughs> let's know you have this talent. Yeah, drop us the music um, okay. a, a, a voice. I can be your substance. It's easy when the love don't hide. Don't hide. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hide. Had to learn from my mistakes. Yeah. Company creates companions. It's all right. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm blushing. I love your smile. Yeah. Girl, I love it when you smile. Okay. 
Okay, uh, okay. It's okay. If you continue like this, I am not going to get off the phone. I mean, <laughs> that's amazing. I mean, you not that you only got I mean, for the first time you got all three questions correctly and then you can sing amazingly well. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miakam, for your time. I had an amazing time with you. I'm actually very impressed by you anyways, I must say. But then again, I'm not going to leave you without saying your parting words to your fans, your followers, and basically to Nigerians and people all over the world. They should just, just let them know they should look out for you because I'm definitely going to be looking out for you. Maybe in the music world, not in people. But then your parting <laughs> words. <laughs> but then your, then your parting words, yeah. Yeah, so... Um... So my word, my uh, my word for for the fans outside, you know, out there, and um, the world general is, you know, just love and let love lead. You understand? Like, you know, learn to love someone, you know, and um, go out there, you know, make someone happy with any little way you can. Because we only live once, you know, and there's so many people going through a lot out there. And also believe in God, you know, and know that there's not impossible to achieve, you know, as long as, you know, you believe in yourself and you believe in God and you believe in whatever, you know, your hand find it to do, you understand? So just do it well, put efforts in it, you know, and be patient, you know, and just believe that, yeah, so everything is going to be fine and it's definitely going to be fine. Yeah, that's a good place to drop the conversation yesterday. Thank you so much once again for your time, um, come and to have an amazing season. I wish you all the best moving forward in your career. I hope to see you at the top, right? Yeah.